everybody. Hi guys. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler. L Cost Beauty Channel. We miss you guys so much. Coming to you live from it's raining right now. <laughs> no, you can tell it's raining because you can look out the ceiling. Yep. Coming to you from rainy Sarasota, Sarasota Florida. Florida. Very close to our home. Yes. And we're enjoying it and loving it every we minute. We love it here. We're getting settled in. We're still not as settled in yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, we don't go to our permanent place for about another month. But we want to try to get back on our schedule for videotaping with you guys. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a real quick Hot Topic Thursday. Sure, let's do it. Uh, so we're going to start first with Mike Dixon. Hi, Mike. He got with us a couple weeks ago. And he asked, this is a good Mrs. Traveler question. Okay. Uh, with <laughs> dining. He asked, could you please define smart casual? Smart casual. Well, you know, I'm going to have to say my saying. You know that I don't see the questions before they ask that Mrs. Traveler. Now, smart dining is when you don't wear jeans, gym shoes, and t-shirt to dinner. You dress a little bit casual. A man have a collar on his shirt. A lady have on a sundress. Nothing fancy. No gym shoes, no jeans. Smart, right. casual. And like we've said it before, we don't, uh, we enjoy getting dressed up for dinner. So when they, love it. when they have the formal nights, I usually wear a tux or a suit. Yes. Mrs. Traveler always has a pretty dress on. I love to glam up anytime I get the chance. Even if I wear shorts to dinner, they're like dressy shorts and like a real, uh, like a linen top. I always try to dress up. Um, and the nights that I don't have formal or I don't have those shorts on, mm -hmm. I'm always wearing like some, you know, nice pair of dress pants and a, mm -hmm. Either a, a, a nice polo or sure. a, or a button-up shirt. So, yep. yep. We enjoy dressing up. Uh, you know, uh, some of the other cruise lines are a little less formal. Carnival's a little less formal on it. Yes. Norwegian is Norwegian is as freestyle. However, uh, we noticed that people continue to keep on dressing up, even though it's freestyle. So we <laughs> enjoy that. Sometimes when you're on a cruise and you have a long day and you do a lot of excursions, you're too tired to dress up. So smart casual is dressing up but without the tuxes or suits and ties and things like that. Yeah, so your belt's not too tight so when you eat like five lobster tails, <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel too bloated because your pants are squeezing you. <laughs> right, because you try to eat everything that's on the buffet because it's free. Those lobsteros, <laughs> por favor. Si, senor, si. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike. All right, so now next question comes from Miss Shelly Ford. Hi, Shelly. Shelly would like to know, uh, she's not so much asking like what kind of camera we use, but she's asking what's a good type of camera to take on a cruise to capture memories. That won't fall in the water when you're swimming. Yep. So, uh, since Miss Traveler did the smart casual, yes. the photographer will answer this question. You, you can take this one. He's the electronic expert, not me. Uh, if you can if you can swing it I would always I recommend the GoPro yes the GoPro number one they're really nice because they're very versatile you can take them uh, on the beach with the with the case around them you can and you can change the settings from uh, super wide to yes. wide to narrow so depending on the uh, setting that you're in you can adjust them yep. um, I, I really like the GoPro uh, I would, you can get like a video camera make sure it has a good zoom lens on there right they even have they have the regular point and shoot cameras now. They have the um, the zoom feature and they're yeah. waterproof too. The Canon is good too. And I can't remember the name of the one that we saw in the boat that was I on there. I think it was a Canon. But they they have a nice water. Oh, it was Olympus. It was Olympus. Olympus. Yeah, it was yeah, Olympus, Olympus it. one. Olympus. And it was waterproof and it had the zoom lens mm -hmm. and it was a nice point and shoot camera. Yeah. Uh, you know you can get a decent camera for a couple hundred bucks. You can, but it depends on what you want to film and how you want to film. Like sometimes. To do my makeup, I use Mr. Traveler's camera, and sometimes I even use my iPhone. Sometimes I even use a Canon to shoot with. It depends on what you're shooting and what you feel comfortable using. That's what I shoot with yeah. for my beauty. But Mr. Traveler, he normally shoots a lot of footage with sports and tours and things like that, so it's totally different. Yeah, and the GoPro is is nice because it's very portable. And I find it very convenient when we're out on ports and things like that. I can clip it to something or stick it in my pocket. It's very versatile and it instead of lugging. You know, I do have a full size, uh, a full size camera that you can switch out the lenses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. 
but it's just not convenient. No, it's a lot to carry. And when you see people on vacation walking around with that big giant camera on there, it's yes. just... It's, it's an inconvenience. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. Uh, yeah. So I recommend trying to find something that has some decent megapixels on there, has a good zoom lens. Yep. Uh, the GoPro doesn't have the zoom lens, so that's one thing to consider. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure that it's portable enough for you so it's not bogging you down. Right. So that's about it. Thank Guys. you, Shelly. Guys, we're getting settled in pretty good, and I anticipate that we're going to be back on schedule with our our uh, videos next yes, week. Starting we will. next week. Thank you so much for being patient with us on both channels, L Cost Beauty Channel and Mr. Chopper. We've been so slow putting up videos, but we appreciate your support yes. and our moves like three times to Florida, <laughs> the road trips, and everything. I'm glad it's been crazy. So you know, we moved. We've been driving a couple of times. We've been trying to do these vlogs. I'm still, I'm still in business with the travel agency. Yes. I've been helping people during the move. I've been like, make sure you come in. If you, I've been like zombified trying to help people yes. do cruises and stuff. Yes. And uh, I appreciate you, uh, those of you who have been uh, booking travel with me. Really appreciate it, and I, and we love you for that. Thank you so much. Uh, so anyway, any, if you're interested, uh, www.mr-traveler.com. Yes. And. I would love to help you also. Yes. And I'm trying to get Miss Traveler to help me too. Okay, I have to jump on board now. <laughs> I have to. I have to put my beauty down and help Mr. Traveler because no. he's getting very busy. I don't want you to put the beauty down either. Okay, well, I keep doing my beauty. I'm Superwoman. Where's my cape? <laughs> Life short, guys. Have fun. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>